Welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. We're up in Iron River, Wisconsin, setting tip-ups and jigging with our good friend, Josh Teigen. Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Just a big, beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome. Holy moly! Oh, oh, oh my God! It's a huge fish! It's a huge fish! This is amazing! Who do you got? Oh awesome. my gosh! Yes, folks, up in Iron River, Wisconsin with our buddy Josh. And Josh, I'll tell you what, compared to southern Wisconsin, this is a different world this winter. You guys got just tons of snow. Yeah, we've had like four snowstorms where we've got over a foot of snow. We got a ton of snow. A lot of slush on the lakes. It's been a, it's been a good winter so far as far as snow. Well, I'll tell you what. We're gonna do a neat thing today. We're gonna set up on a big deep weed flat, and a lot of crappies, a lot of bluegills in this spot. But you're also gonna set tip ups. Yeah, we'll set our beaver dams out for bass, pike. There are a few walleyes in here. We might get lucky and get one of them, but mostly bass and wall and pike. Yeah, this is an action lake too, folks. I'm gonna start out using a little castmaster. That'll catch both bluegills and crappies. Yep. And you've really fallen in love with that uh, Google Eye tungsten jig. Huh? Yeah, this has been my favorite so far this year. I mean, it's got that glass wrap in it that attracts them. It's got it sinks fast. And we got quite a crew with us today. We got Derek from the Hayward Airport. We yep. got your girlfriend Vanna and we got Blake. Yep, it's gonna be a fun Oh, day. and Ryan the photographer. Yeah, Ryan. right Ryan. Hey folks, so show what we're using and how we're using it. All of that coming up right after this. Hey Josh, I need a hole over here, buddy. All right. That E6 Lightning is an awesome auger, isn't it? It is, I love it. I'll tell you what, those river blades are incredible, how they grip that ice. But the one thing I want to mention too, buddy, is uh, the fact that we have the longest lasting battery on the market. We do. It lasts a long time. I mean, we've probably drilled 50, 60 holes today through a foot of ice, and we're still on the same battery. I bet we could drill another 50 with the same battery. And guess what? what? If you buy an E6 Lightning now through the end of January, you get a free extra battery that's worth 150 bucks. That's a heck of a deal. Wow, that is a great deal. Yeah, so buy the E6 Lightning, get an extra battery for free worth 150 bucks. That's a pretty good deal. That's tough to beat, John. Yeah, what's my favorite series of hubs? The Clam C Series shelters work best for us. Hey, what's our favorite ice sub shelter? The X Series from Clam Outdoor. Yeah. Choose the hub shelter that's right for you at Clam Outdoors. Pursue the ice. Welcome back, folks. We haven't even got all of our tip-ups in yet, and we got one going, huh, Josh? All yeah. right, way to go there, yeah. Derek. Let's see what we got here. Now, that could be anything, right? Yeah, it could be anything. It could be a pike, could be a bass. Oh, oh nice bass to start today. Nice. And, and Josh, you know, as we talked about in the open of the show, there haven't been a lot of guys out fishing because of all the snow on the ice. Yep. So these fish haven't seen a lot of baits, have they, guys? Yeah, they haven't got pressure at all. I mean, we're the first ones in this spot, and all these lakes, there's so much snow and so much slush where, like you said, there's not a lot of people out here. John, I got a flag. I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, nicely done, buddy. Nicely em. done. We just set this tip up. Folks, I'll tell you what, we, we won't even have them all in yet. No. Let's see what we got this time here. He had a lot of line. Ah, oh, another yeah, bass. Nice oh, bass. actually, hold those weeds up. Because yeah. uh, we're just actually fishing a big weed flat. Yep. But this is a deep weed flat. It is. This is out in like 15, 18 feet of water. We got tall cabbage and a lot of other weeds in here. And you got bass in here. You got pike. There's walleyes around. 
Oh, got a flag over All here, right, Dad. Way to go there, Blake. You're the first one to get to it. You know? Yeah, we've had a lot I of. I had one on and missed it. Yeah, okay. we've had a lot of flags this morning. No, it, isn't this fun though, you guys? Yes. I mean, it really is. And it's a beautiful day out. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Looks like we're in a weed bed. <laughs> yeah, you got a lot, a lot of cell. I'm surprised, Josh, at how green these weeds are, though. Yeah, you wow. Know? Yeah, they stay green for quite a while out That's here because nice the spot. water's fairly clear. Yeah. yeah. And you got a shot at Northern Pike. Northern Pike. We have caught a few walleyes out here, not a lot, but we still have a chance of one, but there are a lot of nice largemouth bass hey, out here. Hey, you know, I've, I've fished this lake in the summer with you. Remember when we were out here one November day? I, I think we had at least a dozen bass over four pounds. Oh, we did. Yeah. There are a lot of good ones. How far deep do you uh, rig the tip up? Um, the minnows are about two to three feet off the weeds. Ooh, here we go. We just got another bass on a tip up, and Derek has a first panfish of the day that looks decent. Oh, that's a nice Ooh, bluegill. Hold them up in your hand, real high, real high. And uh, you know, that's what, about a seven and a half? Yeah, that's a good eater. Now, last year when we were out here, or two years ago, you pulled one up about 10 inches, you remember? Yeah, that thing is a giant. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, you're marking quite a few fish. Yeah, I've been catching little crappies left and right, but I haven't got a big one to go, and then this guy stormed on none. See yeah, it? Get, get, up, get up, get up, get up. Get, there, oh, he yeah, there, he <laughs> there he is. There he is. That, I love fishing with the locator, you that know? That is fun. And, and let's see what we got here. Crappie or... Ooh, Ooh nice there you go. Thumb that one. Yeah. Actually, I want to talk about Oops. that a little bit, Josh. Yep. That's got some kind of ugly markings on there, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, those are parasites, John, and a lot of the fish up here have that. It doesn't affect the meat any. You can still eat them. Oh, okay, um, so it's not they, worms or no, anything like that. No, but they do look funky, don't they? Ooh! Josh, oh, there we go. Dad, there we go. Blake Arena. That was a good mark. I don't nice. Ooh, that is a, that is a beautiful. Yeah, that's a really good one. And guess what that's on? On the, the gold Acme Hammer Tungsten jig, right? It's called Hammer. Yep, the Hammer yeah. jig. Yep. And Josh loves that jig. Yeah, we me too. About earlier. That's but a big you know, deal. that's a beautiful bluegill, yes. Josh. Yep. And, and that's the one thing that I like about coming up to your Iron River area lakes. You have quality panfish up here. We do, and most of our lakes have them too. I mean, we got three, four hundred lakes with a lot of big gills, crappies. These even perch too. This is a perfect yes. uh, trip to bring a family on with the tip up set up and, and yes. catching a lot of fish. The people, uh, super easy. can you take groups? Yeah, I take groups a lot of times up to six or seven people and lakes like this are fun. You know, you yeah. put flags out, you have a lot of tip ups, a lot of action on pike and bass, and then you can catch panfish all day long. It's spinning, Josh. It's spinning, buddy. It's spinning. Hey, that's a cool tip up you got there, Yeah, man. isn't it? Like that light? I love that light. We'll talk there about we that in a second. Ooh, we got him. Feels All like right. a decent one. Well, there, that, you know, the bass have been cool. I'm waiting for that big old pike or a walleye. Yeah. Does that feel like a like a pike? No, it's fighting like a bass. Like a bass? It really is. And this one's out deeper. We're out in the base now here in about 20 Ooh, feet of water. Ooh, there's your leader material. Oh, oh yeah. There that's a nice bass, nice bass right there. there. That really is. I got to hold this, uh, yeah. this New Beaver Dam lighted tip up, yep. up for you. Um, what do you like about this? The battery is built right into the base Yep, there? it's built into the base. And what's so cool about it is if you hold it like that, once it makes contact right there, right. see that light, it shuts off. Right. So when that there's no contact, it turns on. It's got an on-off switch. So if you don't want to use it, you don't need to use yeah. it. Yeah. Um, but it's a... It's a great, I love it, especially for evening walleyes. <laughs> Got we, we just came go. over to visit Vanna. This is Josh's girlfriend. Oh, there decent crappie right there, Josh. Nice. Hey, Vanna, we've been catching a lot of that size, haven't we? Yeah, yep, they were out deeper, and then I just moved in and found about the same size, but Blake is catching bigger fish over there. Well, you know, the thing is, Josh, though, as I you know, talked about bringing groups out here, you're yep. catching fish all day. They're not all big. No, they're not. And, you know, you get a lot of this size, and you these are good ones to keep, you know, those 9 to 11 inches, and anything bigger than that, we like to let them go. Now, to dispel all rumors of Josh dating Blake, <laughs> this is Josh's girlfriend, folks. Yeah, this is Vanna. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming. We got a tip up out there. We got a tip up out there. This is fast fishing, guys. Ooh, there's a nice bluegill. Yeah, that's a real pretty one. Now, that one doesn't have the weird markings or the weird parasites. Yeah. What? You know, hold them out. I mean, that's a real pretty bluegill. And those uh, clean up beautifully, don't they? Oh, yeah. We're not sure. keeping any fish today, but nothing like a bluegill fish fry. Absolutely. There we go. She's spinning. She's spinning. Derek just caught a All nice right. bluegill, you guys. Let's see what we got here. They're starting to bite a little better yeah, now, they John. are. Midday bite, right? Yep, exactly. Oh, there he is, a nice bass. Oh, yeah. Nice. Come on up here. Nice <laughs> now, you love to fish? Yeah, yep. I've been fishing all my life. And that's how you met Josh, out on the lake? Yeah, yep. 
<laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No. But I mean, that is amazing. The numbers of bass that we're catching in January. Exactly. You They're know? actually biting really good. And I, I'm sure this warm weather helps when you get these warm fronts that yeah. come through. They, they now, seem to bite better. You're in the deep weed edge here. This is way out. I mean, we're probably 100 yards from the weed edge right now. They're just cruising out here in this basin. There is no time for us to fish, Josh. Ooh, no, got, got him. Got him. Ooh, this feels good. All this right. feels good. Okay, cool. Cool. This I has mean, been non-stop, flag that, after flag. That's what makes it fun. And I don't it, think Josh has jigged yet, yeah. have you? No, I have not <laughs> had a chance to jig yet. Let's I don't see. know if I will today. Is it a pike? Oh, big bass. Oh, oh there's a nice. Wow, Nicely that's a chunk. Done. That's a good one there. Wow, that is a beautiful bass. And you know, Josh, if you catch smaller ones, they're actually pretty good to eat, aren't they? Yeah, they are. You know, you get those 14, 15 inches, they're good to eat. I don't eat them, but I know some people that do. Hey, we got to talk about the hooks that you're using on these tip-ups. Yep. And you've been a big Eagle Claw fan all your life. Why the Eagle Claw trebles? Well, the biggest thing is they're American-made, you know. They're located right in Denver, and, and they're sharp. They're reliable hooks. They don't bend out. I, I really like them. Bluegill crappie. Ooh, Ooh there. Nice. Now look at that bluegill. That's a big one. There. That is again on that Google Eye jig. Yeah, that Google Eye is hot. Or no, tungsten? actually, that's, that's the, the that's the hammered one. Tungsten. Hammered tungsten. <laughs> the hammer. Who makes that? Acme. Oh, okay. Yep. That's a beautiful bluegill. Are they coming pretty fast off the bottom there, Ben? That one did. There was a couple other marks down there that I was trying to work in, and that one just shot off the bottom. Nicely done. <laughs> cool. So when you guys go on dates, is it always fishing? Uh, most of the time, but we do other stuff too. John, I got a good one on. Okay, coming. Do you need help with this guy? If this is a bass, it's a monster. No kidding, buddy. Oh, nice pike, oh, nice pike. Nice pike. Nice pike. Ooh, let him go, let him, yep, let him yep, run yep, on yep, you, yep. let him run on you. Yep. Okay. This, this, is a, this is a good one. It, you know, Derek just caught a little pike here, and I was coming to rebait it. Yeah. I put it down, and right when I put it in the hole, it popped up again and just started tearing out line. Ooh, that is a nice fish. Yep. Yeah. Oh, go. Josh, a ruby dooby doo. Right. There we go. Yeah, now I want you to see the build on it. Yeah, that's a and, good one. And, there. you know, uh, the jig and bite isn't what, you know, normally out here. I mean, you're catching fish, but yep. not a lot. I wonder if there's too many predators. I think there is, especially with how many bass we're catching, and, you know, we got pike in mixed with them. Maybe they're just, uh, the, like you said, the game fish are fired up. We were fishing the lakes around Iron River, Wisconsin, a six hour drive from Milwaukee, seven hours from Chicago, and three hours from Minneapolis. The Castmaster drop chain. We took the original Castmaster body and added a two inch dropper chain to it. When you're rocking the Castmaster side to side and get the chain swinging, tipped with either a spiked or a middle head, it's a deadly combination. Check them all out at acmetackle.com. As much as we're on the water, my dad has me changing the lower unit oil more than once a year. And every time, it's such a mess. Well, we may actually have the answer for that. Amzo's Marine Gear Lube now comes in this easy pack that'll take that entire mess away. Let me see. All right. Okay, to use this thing, you simply insert the nozzle into the lower unit. We've already have this one drained. Rotate the bag one time. And then go ahead and squeeze the gear lube into the motor. And once it comes out the vent hole here on the top, it's full. Just like that, I'll go ahead and put the plug back in, get the other plug in it real quick. Wow, that was simple. All you need is a drain pan, an Allen wrench, and the Amsoil Easy Pack. For more information, go to amsoil.com. For 2019, Acme's expanding their tungsten jig series. We have a brand new hammered finish series. Three colors, gold plated, chrome plated, and copper plated. What I love about these jigs, they throw off a lot of flash. Check them all out at acmetackle.com. Catching so many fish on tip-ups, I don't have a chance to jig, but I see Derek keeps jigging, right, Josh? Yeah, he's doing really good. Okay, let's see. I'm sure you're weeding through a fish, right? Well, really, the... Oh, Ooh, there you go. Big, every gill we're catching is, is a keeper here. The crappies... Hold that up and out. The crappies I mean, yeah. were about 100 yards away, and here we're just catching gills. That's, well, that's, that's a beautiful gill. What do you think, well, eight and a half? Yeah, eight and a half, I bet. Let's measure them. What do you got there, buddy? Ooh, he's pushing nine, pinch the tail, he's a nine-incher. That's yeah, gorgeous. That's a good Keep him up there, yeah. I mean, uh, when you're catching bluegills, in my opinion, between eight and nine inches, you're getting some big fish. Yeah, right? those are special fish. There's not a lot of lakes that have them. Ooh, oh, nice! There we go. Ooh, Ooh look nice at this guy. Crappy. Oh, get him, Blake. Oh, get him, no. get him, get him, get him. Oh! oh. 
I saw you stick your hand down the hole I for tried. a big walleye, but that crappie wasn't quite worth it, <laughs> no, was it? No, it wasn't. I don't want my hand to be, my sleeve to be cold like I that. I got a good time. hole here. There's yes. a lot of fish, so if you yeah. want to get next to me. I got to show you what I just caught. Now we're going to compare that's sizes. Let's nice. see. Oh, that's a big one. Let's see if I can hold mine up there with yours. That's a good one. Now, I just caught this one. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that a beauty? <laughs> I think that may be right in there with the smallest bluegill I've ever caught. I think you got me well, How big is that? About eight and a half, I'd say? Yeah, that's probably eight. And eight how about half, this? How big is this? Three. No, that's good solid two and a half. Well, oh, maybe. Dad, over here. Coming. Woohoo! I'm moving over here. Derek's behind you. He just I, caught a big Derek one, Derek just caught a huge gill, so I'm hoping I caught a big one, too. Well, that's... Oh, yeah, that's another nice. one, Blake. That, Look at the orange coloring on that. Very, very, very pretty. Beautiful. That one's about eight, eight and a half. Yeah. And, uh, again, that Google Eye jig, that yep, tungsten. the tungsten. It really... You can feel the bite a lot better. I'm moving over here. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've been hopping hole to hole, folks, and that's part of the key to success oh, is not sure. staying in one place. Yeah, and what's interesting about over here, it's... 18 feet and there's about at least three or four feet of uh, weeds so you jig right above that yeah, and, and they, they come right out and of the they weed. see that tungsten i got a good one on coming coming all right, all right Vanna, she's quite the angler huh josh yeah she's on fire well, let's see what we got coming in here that that pike was a nice one by the way that was a big one yeah this is actually the same hole Oh, oh big bass. Nice fast. Got him. Look at nice. that fast. That's a good one there. Vanna White, is that gorgeous <laughs> there? You know, that That's really is. One. I got to come over here. This is the most comfortable ice fishing deal I have in the world. You know, I, I, I park my butt on this Yama and it stays there the whole day. You know, that, <laughs> Can't beat that. Look at the size of that bass. That's a big mouth That's on that. That's a big that. one, yeah. That's our biggest one today so far. And, you know, largemouth folks in this area are very underappreciated. You got a great number of bass lakes. We do. There's a lot of them, and they're, you know, not a lot of guys fish for them, especially in the winter and even in the summer, you know. There's a lot of great lakes up here with a lot of big fish like this one. Ben, are you having fun? Oh, yeah. This is way better than work. <laughs> oh, you're all, What do you do? Um, I actually work at Total Tool Supply in Superior. Total Tool Supply in Superior. Mm -hmm. That's near Amsoil, isn't it? Uh, uh, yeah, sort of. it's about yeah, yeah, three to five yeah. minutes away. Breaking news from Fleet Farm. Check out this deal. The Vexilar Gens Pro Pack on sale for just $259.99. The Vexilar Gens Pro Pack on sale for just $259.99. You know, folks, for many, many years, I had to take my boat in to get my engine winterized, but that is not the case with Evinrude. I'm going to go get the boat trailer, and Blake is going to show you how to winterize the Evinrude. Yeah, Dad, the beauty of Evinrude, you don't even have to take in your engine to the shop. All you have to do is load it up on your trailer like normal, make sure your Evinrude is still in the water, go to Menu, Settings, and click Winterize. And when the engine turns itself off, it's completely winterized. It's that simple. And Evinrude is the only engine in the world that can winterize itself in just a push of the button. For more information, go to evinrude.com. This feels good, Dad. All right, Blake Arini. Feels I had to really good. My ATV for a minute. It's interesting how these fish are coming in. They are only coming in. Ooh, there's a nice. Oh, that is a nice one. If I can Not get her. Huge, no, but, uh, but it's a nice one. Yeah, I'll lip them and hold them out. And you know, normally on this particular lake, we're yeah. catching a lot more crappies. But you know yeah. what? I'd rather catch those big bluegills. Yeah, today has been a big bluegill day. But like I said, those marks were big, and they came in like probably five or six. And Off that's, the bottom. Yep, and okay. that's when they're aggressive because you know when they're all fighting for the same jig. So Nicely it's, done. it's a lot of fun. Good crappie. Ooh, there he is. That is so much fun. I had that one come a foot and a half off the bottom, and let's see what we got here. Ooh, look at that. That is a beautiful bluegill right there, folks. And I just switched colors. I went to uh, kind of a gold cast master there, and uh, boy, he hammered that. Those are just gorgeous bluegills, though. They really are. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh there we go. That one came off the bottom really fast. Yes, didn't he it? did. He crushed it. I Ooh, bet it's a crappie. Nicely done there, Josh. I actually just got a real nice bluegill out <laughs> did you? inside the weed line. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh yeah. Oh one. my God. That's that a tanker is a there. Dandy right there. 
I think that's worth a tape measure right there, buddy. Yeah, I bet that one's nine inches. Uh, yeah, I think he might be maybe, a tad maybe more. Maybe, maybe. Well, let's, let's measure him for Should the Should we folks, measure him? You know? Yeah, let's do it. I mean, when you're catching I got my tape measure that, that right big, here. it's kind of fun to check it out. Yeah, you know? let's see what we got. And obviously, we're releasing that fish. Yep. What do you oh, got there, buddy? Nine and three quarters. Nine and three quarters. Lip them one more time before you release them because I think Ryan wants to get a picture, but that is a gorgeous fish. And yeah, you know, that's a good one. Josh, we've been out fishing about four hours right now. Yep. And this is kind of what guests can, that come with you can experience? Yeah. This you know, when we average. fish numbers like, like this, we can catch a lot of fish, some big fish, but a lot of fish. I mean, you know, we've caught so many more that we haven't filmed. So but, the kids would be busy oh, all day. Oh, they're busy all day. They won't get bored. You know, folks, it's always fun to introduce products that help you out with your fishing. And we have here a Johnson Portable Aeration System. Josh, I want you to hear this. I'm going to turn it on. Ready? Yep. Wow, that sounds like we're at the bait shop. It really does. And what we do is we force oxygen into the water coming up from the bottom. And we also take the CO2 out with this system. Yep. And that means? That means we're going to have a lot livelier minnows and they're going to live a lot longer. And you're going to love this. I run this off a 12 volt battery so you don't have to replace batteries every day. Oh, perfect. And then you can charge it at night. Yep, the Johnson Pump Portable Aeration System. And it goes in a bucket like this in a cooler or in your boat. Perfect. I'm going to have to get one. Get Johnson pumped. Folks, guess what? We're giving away a Hummingbird Ice Helix 7 Chirp GPS G2 all season. The Ice Helix 7 has built-in GPS, built-in mapping, and dual spectrum chirp. And when the ice fishing season is over, you can easily transfer your Helix 7 onto your boat to enter is simple. Just go to facebook.com slash Gillespie Fishing. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> These are coming up off the bottom so fast, folks. You know which ones are going to hit. Ooh, there we go. That's just a nice fat seven and a half, eight incher right there. But take a look at how he hammered that gold cast master. Now, again, I just switched to that. Just really incredible how they hit that thing. And that's the thing about the cast master, too, folks. A lot of times I'll use that because only the bigger bluegills will hit it. Got one, John. Come on. I just caught it. I just caught a real nice bluegill right behind you. Nice. Right here, buddy. That's probably what this is going to be. Yeah, they're, they're beautiful, beautiful. Oh, they're, oh look big at that crappie. crappie. There you go, there John. There we go. Now, that is a major league crappie right there, buddy. That's what we're after. You know, it is interesting. You know, the, the years past, we've caught so many crappies. Today, they're few and far between, yep. but the big bluegills. But that's a beauty anywhere you go. And yeah. that's uh, 13, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, I'd say 13, 13 and a half. It's it, nice built fish, you, too. You don't want to tell the folks one thing that's been key today is moving hold yes. a hole and you know you'll mark fish for a minute then they're gone but move right Keep exactly moving. and you know today just now it started getting slow you know they'd come up to my google eye and they wouldn't hit it so i just switched over that hammered tungsten and he came up and absolutely smoked it you know there's nothing better on the ice than johnsonville fresh broads am i right you are right what do you think blake i love them yeah what i do the night before is i boil these in beer or for about six or seven minutes. So they're really pre-cooked then. I throw them on the grill on low to medium heat, turn them every couple of minutes. And because I boil them the night before, they don't take that long. You can have a hot lunch on the ice, Johnsonville fresh brats in just a couple of minutes. What? Aren't those great? Mm -hmm. Blake, you love them too. Yeah, and I how do. many are you gonna eat? I'm gonna have three. Hey folks, look for Johnsonville fresh brats at your favorite retailer today. Another Ooh, one here. I got a nice. hot hole here, Blake. I know. I just uh, moved over uh, here with my hummingbird because you're yeah. catch, catching these nice Hold scales. Hold that up for me. Aren't those oh, beautiful and you put bluegills? The, you were using the cast master. Yeah. I actually, I was talking about that before because yeah. it kind of weeds out the smaller fish. But yeah. look at how they take that thing in. I mean, Seriously, they, just they really hammer smack it. Yeah, I got one. What an awesome day. You know, yeah. what an incredible day. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, that's another beautiful nice, bass. Nice bass. There. You know, we kind of went on a couple hour dry spell on the bass. They were biting this morning, man. Yeah, then it slowed down, but yeah, that's the first one we've caught in quite a while. Yeah, and I, I want to mention too, you know, folks, if you want to come up and fish with Josh, uh, in the next couple of weeks, Shaguamagon Bay should be safe. You guys yeah. have had so much snow 
but you actually uh, guide for, for brown trout and lake trout out there, right? Yeah, browns, lakers, we'll do whitefish trips as well, and it's yeah. a great bite out there, and you know, we might be able to get out for lakers again this year. The 2020 John Gillespie's Waters and Woods Fleet Farm Fishing Contest is now underway. To enter is simple, just snap a picture of your trophy catch and go to any Fleet Farm store to pick up an entry blank, or go to fleetfarm.com to download an entry blank. I go to Fleet Farm every week to find the hot new deals. Check out what I found this week. Frable Magnum Bait Station on sale for $59.99, saving $15. And the AquaView Underwater Camera System is on sale for $299.99, saving $50. Come Got on, another one, Joe. Yeah. Another tip up. And another bass, I suppose. Let's see. He's been pulling out some line. Ooh, Ooh nice. Yeah. Now, folks, the nice thing about coming up here to the Iron River area is you can keep five pike a day with no size limit. No size limit, yep. And, and they're wonderful to eat. Yeah, and this is your perfect size to keep, you know, anywhere from that 23 to 26, 27 inches. Those are the ones you want to eat. I get five sides off of these. I take that back strap, two on this side and two on the tail side. Yeah, and then you don't have bones and they're no, delicious. No, they are really good. And again, you get five sides off of those. Yeah, so, can't yeah. beat You got one going there? Yep, got one going. There. Let's see, another there we go. probably. Ooh, there we go. How does he feel? Eh, not too big. Oh my, it's a crappie. Look at that. Whoa. That is a, now hold that baby oh, up. Unreal. Now that was on a bass or northern pike minnow? Yeah, that was on a big uh, northern sucker. Hasn't this been a great day, buddy? Oh, it's been great. You know, I love coming up here and doing this with you because we catch fish all day and you get some beauties like that too, yeah. don't you? Yep. And you know, we could stay till dark. I think you'd have a big run, but man, we've caught so many fish today. Yeah, we don't even need to. And it's so nice all too. I mean, how many times in January do you get this nice of weather? Exactly. Hold them out. Wow, that beautiful, beautiful fish. Josh Tigan guides Bayfield County on a daily basis. For more information, give Josh a call. That phone number is 715-813-0575. 813 I'm getting too old for this. So John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's Custom Steps, call 920-315-0333. From catching fish to catching up with friends, Fleet Farm has everything you need for ice fishing. Whether it's improve your odd season, now that's a trophy season, or even catch your limit and eat it too season. There's a reason people say, if Fleet Farm doesn't have it, you don't need it. Fleet Farm, built for real life. Well, fun day. You had fun. Oh, I did. I had a blast. Yeah, and folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know. We're going to fish yet. We'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie. And I'm Blake Gillespie. And you are? Josh Tiger. Hoping to see you and join John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Hey, 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 John Gillespie. This is me. This is everything talking about. Yeah. Dee, 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 dee. Hey, 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 John Gillespie. Can you? Yeah.